Science just got a lot more personal. Researchers at the Oregon Health and Science University say the possibility of trading in your health problems for a better well-being is looking better than ever before. Scientists outlined the technique in the journal Cell, explaining a new breakthrough in cloning human embryos and using them to make stem cells. This would essentially enable people to become donors for themselves when seeking transplants. They hope the technique will one day create nerve and muscle tissue to replace parts of the body damaged by injury or disease. The team used the same method of replacing genetic material from an egg with that of an adult stem cell that produced Dolly the sheep in 1996. The Los Angeles Times reports after spiking the cells with a few nutrient-rich chemicals and electrical currents, the eggs began to grow for several days and developed as many as 200 cells. But some groups don't see it as a step forward, fearing it could lead to cloning entire human beings, which scientists have deemed unethical and scientifically irresponsible. British watchdog group Human Genetics Alert has been protesting genetic research for a while, saying though progress could bring major health benefits, the human genetics revolution also raises profound social and ethical problems. Genetics is running far ahead of society's ability to cope with these issues. The lead researcher told CNN the method was designed only to reproduce stem cells and hasn't been shown to work for cloning babies, even in animals. We tested actually this technique, of course, on, on monkey first, and we tried to make cloned monkeys using the same approach and never worked. So it's unlikely it will work as is for a reproductive cloning in humans. The team also said in the journal it does not believe the new findings can be used by others to advance in the possibility of human reproductive cloning and announced its next step is treating blindness causing eye disease in monkeys with lab-made tissue. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.